Hello you guys and welcome to another Clean With Me video. My name is Heaven if you are new here and I'm a motherhood and homemaking vlogger. Every Sunday I post cleaning videos and on Wednesdays or Thursdays I post another type of motherhood or homemaking video. So that could be a day in the life, a cooking video, a home organization, homeschool video, shopping hauls, grocery hauls, even a little bit of Disney content all within the motherhood and homemaking area if that sounds like something that you are interested in then of course i would love for you to join the family go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post new content but for today's sake let's get into some cleaning today i am upstairs not downstairs majority of my videos when i'm cleaning are done upstairs but today i have a lot of work to do up here in the bedroom Plus, I am currently about a week and a half postpartum. We welcomed a new baby girl to our family on July the 9th, which is about a week and a half ago. I'm trying to stick within that 5-5-5 five, five, five rule, which is five days like laying in bed, five days like on the bed, like lounging, watching TV, reading, and then five days around the bed, which is just like doing like things around the bed. I have broke it. I have broke the rule so many times, but mentally up here i can definitely feel it physically i can feel things starting to get a ton of a lot better but mentally the lack of sleep the lack of like restoration and all of that is definitely starting to take a toll on me so today is saturday saturday right now is going to be my new cleaning day so throughout the week, I'm going to tidy and then daily I will tidy like the kitchen, the family room, things like that. But on Saturday, Saturdays will be my day to do a little bit more strenuous cleaning. So um, Saturdays, I plan to like go through the house and do things that didn't necessarily fall into the quick tidy category. So today I'm tackling my bedroom, also going through my wardrobe because like for the past year, it's been a big mumbo jumbo of what I can fit, what I can't fit. I'm still going through it. I literally just placed another order. So maybe I'll be doing like that clothing haul. I always do a clothing haul for the kids, which I do have another one coming up for baby girl. I just did Noah's my five-year-old son's in May. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. And then baby girls is coming up as well. I'm going to film hers next week. Maybe I'll do one for myself within the next couple of weeks too. I don't know if that's something that you guys are into. Definitely comment below and let me know if I should do like a mom clothing haul or mom shopping haul. Try on a few like mom friendly outfits. Let me know if you guys are looking for some clothing inspiration. I'm going through my wardrobe yet again and getting some things out that I can't fit that I just don't wear because it's getting out of hand and I just placed a new order for more clothes. So I'm going to be doing that. This shirt is new. This is like a maternity nursing top and it is so soft. It was like a three pack from Amazon for like $33. Um, they are so soft and it's really pretty. Nice and long. You guys will see it. But back to the cleaning. Let me show you guys what it's looking like around here. Again, this is just going to be like some light cleaning because I still have to take easy. But it's still like a pretty big mess in here. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into that. And if at any point in this video you are finding it to be helpful or motivational or you are enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel to grow and it means so, so, so much to me. And of course, please comment and say hello because I love to hear from you guys. I love when you guys comment and say hi and we can hold some conversation. I feel like every time you guys do that, I learn a little bit more about you guys and it just gives us opportunity to connect a little bit more each time. Go ahead and say hello, family and friends, so that we can do that. And we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the cleaning. Here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna start here with the desk and then make my way all the way around to here. Once I get here, I'm gonna make up the bed and then I'm gonna tackle my husband's nightstand and I'm gonna tackle our dresser and then get to all of those clothes over there. All of those clothes over there are laundry that I need to fold or either take down to be washed. I'm gonna let the air out of that ball and then we're gonna get into the closet storage. So here you guys get that before picture of how terrible this room is looking here. Not looking so great. I did change out the bedding yesterday, but I still need to make the bed up. Coffee, water, all the things, baby girl stuff over here, all my snacks and just things have pretty much just gotten 
very much out of hand. I'm gonna put on a cleaning video on my television to give me some motivation. Let me know what you guys do to get your motivation. Is it music? Is it prayer? Is it coffee? Whatever it is, but for me, it's a good YouTube video, just like this one that we are getting into right now. I just ordered this Mom Cozy Wearable Breast Pump. I'm so excited to try it out, but I still have to read the instructions, so right now it's kind of just sitting here waiting on me. We just got it in the mail yesterday evening. I'm gonna be trying that out. I got my planner, laptop, some markers here. I bought these to put inside of my breast pump bag so that I can mark my milk storage. For now let's store them right here. So that's looking better. Now let's just wipe it down really quickly and then we will clean under it and move on to the right. And this is just the Lysol disinfectant wipe. Nothing too crazy. Whatever I already had upstairs since the goal is to stay around the bed and not have to go up and down the stairs. So the desk is done. It looks a lot neater. That's all cleaned off. This won't be here forever. Like I said, I'm still trying to get that worked out. But everything that I typically use regularly is here. As well as my essential oil diffuser, my decorative plant, my late night lamp, and then my little blanket that my mom gifted me. I keep it here. Also, my husband brought baby girl back. So I got a few things done. Baby girl is not ready to eat. So of course, we're gonna take a break. I did get the nightstand cleared off. I still have my coffee that I'm still working on right now. Water that I'm working on right now. Bottled water that I still keep like for if I run out of water in my tumbler at night. My support pillow for when I am breastfeeding. And then the rest of, you know, her little bed pillow. So I did get the bed made up. I also cleaned off my husband's nightstand over there. I still need to wipe it down. I need to wipe mine down as well. And then I can move on to getting this stuff over here in the corner taken care of. Cleaning off the dresser. Fold some laundry. Get started with the closet. Vacuum the floor. You know, all that stuff. But it's, it's going. It's not like a steel light work. Like it's not taking too, too long. But let's take a break feed baby girl she should be okay for a little while now i still have all the lights on i don't even have her like tightly swaddled just loosely because i don't want her to think like it's bedtime like nighttime bedtime I still wanted to think it's daytime, but I know she's still, you know, going to sleep throughout the day. So I try to loosely swaddle her throughout the day. Still have like the TV on, the lights on, still, you know, just normal daytime stuff. So I'm going to see how much more she lets me 
get done. Of course, we're going to save that vacuuming for last because I don't know yet how she's going to react to the vacuum. I'm probably going to like move her to her nursery before I vacuum. I really don't know. We'll see. But let's get off this dresser. I got some of Noah's dinosaurs here. His little sleep cap, a little book. So I went ahead and let the air out of the nursing ball. I want to get like a maternity bin and just put like my balls in there, any of my maternity clothes, the pumps that go with the ball, um, any of my like maternity books, anything that I use just for like maternity purpose, I want to put inside of that bin. Maternity like pregnancy pillow, like waist wraps and bands, anything that I use just for pregnancy, I just want to store in a bin just to be safe. <laughs> You just never know. <laughs> so I'm going to air out of that and I just need to get like a really good BM. I'm going to vacuum because she's ready to be picked back up. shark vacuum it's it's really good it's so lightweight if you guys have not tried that vacuum get one and you can like lift it away it makes it easier for like corners and stairs i still don't even know how to use all the features but i just know i love it. really quick recap we cleared off the desk the nightstands made the bed my husband's nightstand the dresser top that's my really large water canteen. I need to add more water into my water canteen. We let the air out of the ball. Paint off the dresser here. And these are what we are about to work on next. So baby girl needs a diaper change. And then I'm gonna work on folding. There we go. Good to go. So we are feeding on demand. So whenever she yells hungry, I have to stop and feed her. Um, I did the same thing with Noah. So she is now giving me the cues that she's hungry again. I'm going to feed her again. Um, and then and I will get to the laundry. <laughs> we are getting it done, you guys. This is just of the new reality of what you know, everyday like cleaning and everyday chores and things looks like for me. And this is just a piece of it because normally on a weekday, there will also be my five-year-old son. But being that it's Saturday, my husband is not, um, like his schedule isn't heavy, heavy. And we also don't have to homeschool today. So my husband has no one. They've been like outside playing and Doing all types of things. He also took the baby so I can get like a good amount of sleep this morning when he woke up. So that's how I have a little bit more energy to be able to get like a lot of this cleaning done. 
is because it's Saturday and he was able to take her so that I can catch up on some sleep that I did not um, get like throughout the night because we are feeding on demand. That is currently what things are looking like for us now. So I've been thinking about pulling out like the baby wrap but I'm trying to give it some time. Like I don't want her to be used to being wrapped up and on my chest all day. So I'm trying to get her used to laying alone in her bassinet even when she's not like fully asleep. I know I could probably get more done with her on my chest, but again, I don't think it's gonna be very beneficial in the long run if she's used to being attached to my chest. My husband gives her so much cuddle time he just holds her like all day when he has her he does not put her down and i even hold her a lot too but we want to give it a little bit of balance so right now i got a light swaddle going on here if she wakes up again she just wakes up again but a light swaddle here that should hold her over i'm gonna tackle the closet first because the laundry I can fold anywhere at any point in time, anywhere in the house. The closet, I need a little bit more pep in my step, a little bit more energy and it's stationary. So I wanna get that out the way first, just in case for whatever reason, baby wakes up again and I can't get to it, you know what I mean? So if this has to be cut short, I wanna make sure that I got that out the way, you know, if that makes sense. So let's do that. Okay, you guys, this isn't even all of it, but I'm very ambitious. I'm taking out everything. some progress as you can see I kept more than I decided not to so I got some skirts here that I can always throw on with like a tank top and then all of my dresses it does look a lot better let me show you guys don't mind that mess around here this is stuff that I have already started pulling out um, orange I just don't think that orange is my color this I wore it once and never wore it again but I've had it for about five years now and then I have some maternity pants and winter clothes these are all winter clothes and these are the things that i'm gonna sadly throw away again this is like my favorite dress but i'm just gonna have to get another one similar to it in a different color because like i said i have decided orange is just not my color have thought about keeping it and wearing it just in the fall but i don't know if i want to keep a dress that i'm only going to wear one season polka dots aren't for me or whatever this is it's not even a polka dot animal print not my thing anymore i don't think stripes is my thing anymore either whatever type of print this is like prints stripes things like that all of this i think is just not in my field anymore for now this is what we're looking like here and i still have space for a few more pieces that's coming next is my drawer like for one, this was in my drawer, this beautiful dress that I haven't gotten a chance to wear yet, so I'm going to put it away. So with the shirts, I took out anything that has high necks because I'm not going to be able to breastfeed in them, so I know the chances of me grabbing them to wear are slim. This is a shirt that I really like, but I just haven't or it maybe I'll give it another chance. This one has a high neck too. High necks are good for church. Um, if I'm not breastfeeding, service is like an hour and a half, so I'll probably keep those out. These are some t-shirts that are like oversized, so I could probably breastfeed underneath if I'm comfortably at home. All of these are v-necks or stretchy material. 
And then these are all like spaghetti straps and things like that. So I'm pretty sure I can confidently breastfeed in those. And then some of them are actual nursing packs. Still my trash pile over here. I was okay, so yes, I'm embarrassed that I had all of this stuff in there, but you guys, the past year has just been hectic as far as like weight and clothing goes. I'm sure you guys can imagine. Here I have a few cotton leggings, then biker shorts, and some spandex leggings. These are all joggers. For jeans, I literally just have three pair of jean shorts and one pair of actual jeans. Everything else is still in storage. So with the PJs, I had to swamp out a few of the shirts. So here I just have a couple of like nightgowns. And then here, like I had some pajama pants, but I swamped out the shirt for like a white tank top that's easier for nursing at night. And then this one is a set that has buttons so I can easily button that down for nursing. This one has buttons as well. These are all my really comfy pajamas. And then this one as well, this shirt is pretty loose so I could stretch it down or put baby girl up underneath but just to be safe i put a nursing cake with this set as well and i took the padding out because i won't be needing padding at night time and then the same thing with this the shirt for this had a high neck so i swamped it out for one of those nursing tanks and i ordered just a couple more as well that should be here soon so i made the decision to donate the orange i just don't think that orange is my color and i think it's important when it comes to styling yourself to have your color basic colors would be like black, gray, blue, nude. But then you would choose like an accent color that you think will look good on your skin. For me, my accent color is gonna be pink in the summertime. And then in the fall time, my accent color is typically like green. And then the winter time, my accent color is typically kind of like a burgundy-ish color. Accent colors per season is the way that I like to do it. And then just staples. So like, you know, your basics, white, black, gray, nude. So for now, I think I'm pretty satisfied. Baby girl, let me get that done. The only thing left for me to do now is fold and then get that stuff added into the drawers as well. today's clean with me video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration let me know if you have to do those seasonal clean outs and go through your wardrobe every time the season changes do you go through your wardrobe every time your weight is up or down or do you just leave it in there and so that you'll be able to access it when you need it me i don't have the closet space for that so you guys saw what that looks like for me but let me know how you do yours and of course if you guys again are interested in seeing a mom shopping haul comment and let me know that too but again i hope that you guys enjoyed this video that pretty much is going to sum it up today i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then again if you are new here and you stay through to the end of the video then that is a sign that you might as well just go ahead and subscribe to join the family you are already at this point officially a part of the family so go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's going to be all for today's video happy homemaking until next time bye